What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about the Revit Mechanical Certification uh, preparation. So this time, we're going to learn how to place pipes, uh, pipe fittings, and then we're also going to add a pipe accessories. Okay, so let's Let's get this thing started. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to the systems tab and from the plumbing and piping so you can see here your pipe tool. So we have the pipe, pipe place holder and then you have the parallel pipes and then your fittings, your accessories and then flexible dock if you want to place a flexible dock. Okay, so here we're going to place a mechanical pipe. So let's say I'm going to use the uh, this system from let me just quickly show you from the families I'm gonna look on the piping systems piping system so I'm going to place uh, heating hot water return heating hot water supply and condenser water return and supply okay so we're going to place uh, four uh, different pipes for our mechanical system so this will gonna be a very simple exercise so I just want you to be familiarized on how to change a system okay so let's select the pipe here so I'm gonna select the pipe and then for the properties I'm going to use here as you can see we have three types here so we have chilled water PVC and standard so you can also find it here from the pipes so you can see you have three pipes here. So if you want to create a new pipe, just need to right click one pipe and then just duplicate it. And then after that, rename and then change the property. Okay, so let me just go back again to my uh, systems. I'm going to select the pipe. The shortcut for pipe is PI. Okay, so click the pipe. And then after that, on the options bar, we are going to change the size of that let's say uh, four inches so here's the options bar I'm gonna change that one to four inches and then we can specify here the middle elevation so let's say I want this to be like uh, 10 feet so there's no 10 feet here so I'm just gonna type 10 feet symbol okay and then just move your your cursor here and then pan your drawing it will apply the 10 feet now we are going to pick now our first point by the way before you pick the first point so you can go to the properties and here you can change the system type that you would like to use so let's say I want a heating hot water supply so you can click the drop down arrow and then you can find your uh, heating hot water supply here okay so just select that one and then let us now specify the first point so as you can see here on my placement tools, automatically connect here is turned on, okay, by default. So that when you create a vertical pipe and then after that you turn right or turn left, it will automatically create the fittings for you, okay? So I'm going to pick the first point here. And then I'm going to pick another point here. And then I'm going to pick another point here. So as you can see, Revit automatically creates the fittings depending on the settings of your pipe type. Okay, so let me cancel that. So this time, I'm going to show you what happens if you disable automatically connect. So I'm going to select that one. All right, so I'm going to pick here, pick second point, and then I'm going to pick another point. what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to add pipe components so we are going to model piping and then we're going to add pipe fittings and accessory okay so this is continuation for our rabbit mechanical certification uh, preparation okay so let's get this thing started so from the systems tab here you can find your plumbing and piping panel wherein you can see the pipe tools here so you have the pipe tool the shortcut is pi you can also create pipe placeholder parallel pipes you can put 
pipe fitting, accessory, and flexible pipe. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to select here the pipe tool. So let's click the pipe. And then you can see here the different types of your pipe. So we have here the default chilled water pipe, PVC pipe, and standard pipe. So I will just use here standard pipe. So standard pipe, and then after that here on our options bar, so you can specify the diameter or the size of the pipe that you will be using. So you can click the drop down arrow, and let's say I'll just use the default of 4 inches. And then for the elevation, the middle elevation of my pipe, I'm going to use 10 feet. So there's no 10 feet here. So I'm just going to type uh, 10. And then the feet symbol. And then I'll apply it. Okay. So 4 inches, 10 feet. Now the next thing that you need to do when creating, let's say, your mechanical system pipe. So from the properties, you need to specify what will going to be the system type here. Okay. So if you click the drop down arrow, you can see several types of uh, pipes here. So in this exercise, the first pipe that I will be creating is a heating hot water supply. Okay, so I'll just select that one. And then after that, on my placement tool, I'm going to make sure uh, automatically connect is turned on. Anyway, this is by default uh, activated. Okay, so I just turned off a while ago when I'm doing some uh, modeling. So I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see, it allows connecting to snaps on a component when starting or ending segments. So this is useful when connecting segments at a uh, different elevation. So I'm going to make sure automatically connect is activated like that. And I'm now going to pick the first point. So I'm going to pick the first point here. For this exercise, the placement of the pipe is not critical. Okay. So I'm going to pick my first point and then I'm going to pick another point here. There you go. And then I'm going to move to the right all the way to the end of my uh, a corridor. So let's say at this point here, I want to change the size. So I'm going to pick here. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to change the size. I'm not going to terminate the pipe. So I'll just change the size here. Like let's say uh, 3 inches. There you go. And then after that, I'm just going to pick here. And as you can see, Revit automatically creates that fitting, the transition from a bigger pipe to a smaller pipe uh, fitting. All right, so I'm going to select here, modify to terminate my tool. There you go. Okay, so now the next thing that I'll be doing here is, let's say, for example, I want to create another pipe here. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to select this pipe and then you can also do this in your uh, ducting if you want. So select the pipe or duct and then right click and then you can select your create similar. So I'm going to select create similar. It will inherit the size and then the elevation of that uh, pipe. So I'm not going to connect it yet because my plan is I'm going to use the parallel pipe tool. So I'm just going to pick here. That's the first point and then let's say I'll just I'll just move here and then change again to 3 inches or maybe I'll just use 4 inches so I'm just going to change this back to 4 inches and then let's say I'll just pick here there you go and then I'll select here modify so that's it okay so after that so let us use uh, parallel pipes so it creates parallel runs of pipe based on initial pipe run okay so let's use this one so i'm going to use my parallel pipe to do this one so click that and then you need to specify the settings here on your uh, parallel pipes okay so you need to specify so let's say I want uh, four numbers of uh, pipe, four horizontal uh, pipe. Okay, so four and then one vertical. Okay, and then you can specify here the horizontal offset and also the vertical offset. So for this one, I'll just use this uh, settings. So four pipes, okay, and then after that, I just need to hover my pointer to the pipe. 
So as you can see, as you move your pointer up and down, you can see where where are you going to place the pipe here, the location. So let's say I'll just pick here. So there you go. And I now have here four. And same with this one here. So I'm going to pick here. There you go. And then modify. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to, oh, how about I'll just create another pipes here. Okay. So I'll just use a parallel pipe again. Then I pick here. There you go. Okay. Right. So the next thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to change the system. So let's say this is what? Uh, this is heating hot water supply. So this one here, I'm going to change this. I'm going to make that like uh, heating hot water return. So that's the return pipe. And then apply. There you go. It changes the color. So let me select this one here. So this is my condenser supply. So that's my condenser water supply. And then this one is my condenser uh, water return. So click. There you go. Okay. All right. And then let us just do this one. Actually, I can just create another pipe here and bend to the right instead of doing this. But, you know, just for an exercise. Okay. So let's click that. Let's change this to return. This one is to condenser supply. And then this one is uh, condenser return. There you go. And then after that, we can now uh, connect this. So let's use the modify tab. And then let's use here uh, trim extend to corner. So let's click that. So let's trim, trim, and trim. There you go. Okay. Now let's change this one as well. So this is return and this one is supply <clears throat> and then this one is condenser return there you go oh. what return and supply all right now the the issue here is if we're going to connect these pipes here what happens is they're going to clash so that's why i'm going to click this air terminal here and then I'm going to select selection box to create a 3D view of these pipes here. <clears throat> of that air terminal including the pipes. There you go. So I think we have uh, enough space here. So I'm going to move my, <clears throat> my pipes. Okay, so if you will notice my pipes here showing as a single line because of my detail level here so the detail level is set to medium so if you set your detail level to medium your pipe uh, represents uh, representation will becomes a single line okay so if you want to make that like a 3d model so change the detail level to fine there you go okay and then maybe here i'll just uh, change the height so i can click this and then I'll change the height here about uh, 10 uh, 10.5 feet there you go okay so I just need to check if this one can create a fittings so I'm going to select the mechanical second floor plan and then click tile views to see side by side. Okay. And then here on my, by the way, this one, I'm just going to connect that. So using single uh, trim extend to corner. So I'm going to click that and then extend this. There you go. It's connected. So uh this one too so i'll use this i'll connect this one there you go so it connects now so this one i just need to make this like 11 feet there you go and then i'm going to uh no just 10.5 
10 feet 6 inches and then here on the floor plan I'll just do that again so click connect and then this one again so click this change that to 10 feet 6 inches and then let's use again trim extend single element click click there you go so there's no more so there's no clash there okay there you go now the next thing that I'm going to do for the last step let us just add here a uh, accessory okay so let's put an accessory here so let's go to the system plumbing and piping so let's click the pipe accessory let's click this one so you can see here the different types of accessories right so let's say a four inches motor control valve so let us try this one and then you just need to move that to the pipe and then as you can see it automatically uh, realign or aligns to the pipe so let's click this okay so again I'm gonna select this one and then I'll use here a selection box there you go to create a 3d view of that so it's too close so I'll just click this one here on the floor plan and then I'll just move manually okay so you can also try other uh, accessories so let's click pipe accessory so let's try like vol uh, ball valve so four inches ball valve so let's put it here there you go so that's how it looks like so again let me go to the floor plan oops let's click this and then let's go to the right right okay i don't want some clashes to happen here there you go so let's use other uh, accessory so i have the ball valve so balancing valve so four inches so let's put it here okay so what else so we have oh that's it so if you want to load some of the valves so you can go to the insert and then you can select here load autodesk family from the cloud because i didn't install here the library for my uh the revit content 2024 so i just use the internet so i'll just use the load autodesk family let's click that and then I'll I'll use here like uh, do you have a pipe uh, fit accessory? There you go. Okay, so how about isolating valve? Okay, so I'll use a gate valve. So let's click this one, and then I'm gonna load it. Okay, it's now loading. There you go. It's now loaded. So let's go back to the systems. And then let's select here pipe accessory there's our gate bulb okay so gate bulb I don't know what's the four inches let me check the internet so four inches two mm so that is like a hundred okay so I'll use a hundred mm Okay, and then let me just click here and there you go. Let's move this one, adjust. Okay, so these are now my accessories, okay? Right, so basically that's how you add your uh, pipe components. Okay, so in this video we have learned how to model the piping, add uh, pipe fittings, and then add pipe accessories okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day